got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul. Hi everybody, welcome back to Testamina Learning Links, your link to learning. I'm Mrs. Hansen and I'm one of the CCLC tutors for the Kasilak Boys and Girls Club. So today, we're going to be going over rounding to a specific place value. And this is a follow-up video to our last video, rounding to the greatest place value. If you're following along at home, uh, grab a piece of paper, a pencil, or a whiteboard so you can follow along and learn by doing, not just by watching. Okay, so let's get started. So like I said, we're going to be rounding to a specific place value today. However, the steps are still the same, so I left these up on the board for us to follow. Okay, so our first number is 329. And for this number, let's say that we are going to round to a specific place value. Let's say we're going to round to the tens place. So. Step number one, I'm going to underline the digit that's in the tens place. And in that case, or in this case, that's the two. So I underlined the number that is in the digit that I'm looking at. So rounding 329 to the closest 10, we're going to underline the tens place. Okay, so let's look at step number two. Look at the digit that's to the right, or look at the number that's to the right. So I draw my little arrow there, same step as before. Um, this is the number that we're actually going to change, but how much we change it by is dictated by that number. Okay, let's keep going. So, we're going to see if it's greater than 5, equal to 5, or less than 5. So, I see 9, that's obviously greater than 5, so 5 or more, let it soar. So, that means I'm going to round up. So, I'm going to change this 2 to a 3 because I'm rounding it up. And then I'm going to replace this number with a zero. I'm going to round the underlined digit, which we just did, and add zeros. So I'll put that here. So 329 rounded to the tens place is 330. Okay, let's do another number. Let's do a little bit bigger this time. Let's do um, 5,198. And let's say this time we're going to round it to the um, place value of the thousands place. So this time we're going to round it to the thousands place. So I'm going to underline that digit or that place. And I see the five is in my thousands place, so I have underlined that. Okay, now I'm going to do step two. Look at the number to the right, make my arrow. So I'm looking at the one. I go, on, I go on to step three and I see if it's greater than five, equal to five, or less than five. So one is going to be less than five. So if it's four or less, let it rest. So that means I'm going to keep my five the same. Okay, I'm not rounding it up. I'm just keeping it the same. The rest of these numbers when I'm rounding down are going to be zeros. So 5,198 rounded to the thousands place is 5,000. Okay, so we're gonna do one last problem before I let you guys go. Um, but first let's do our easy peasy math fact. So, Thanksgiving is coming up soon. Um, it's an exciting holiday. And let's say Mrs. Hansen is going to make some biscuits for Thanksgiving. And I did everything, I put them in the oven, they're getting ready to bake. I pull them out and I look at them and they're burnt and I can't figure out why they burned. And I think back and I think, hmm, what did I set the um, temperature to? And let's say that I was supposed to set the temperature to 350 degrees, but then I remember that I accidentally set it to 450 degrees. So how many degrees was Mrs. Hansen off by? So I set it to 450 degrees and I was supposed to set it to 350. So how many degrees was I off by? Okay, there's your easy peasy math fact. Let's move on to one more problem. And um, I'm going to write it down here. You guys can write it down at home. Okay, so let's do 36,782. Okay, and so this time, let's round to the thousands place again. So that's going to, I'm going to underline the digit that's in the thousands place, which is the six. And then I'm going to look at the digit to the right. Okay. So notice with this, when we're rounding to a specific place value, 
That's why it's so helpful to underline the digit that we're working with and the place that we're working with, because if I asked you to round to the greatest place value, you would have underlined this. But that's why it's important that we pay close attention to what um, place it's asking us to round to. Okay, so I look to the right and I see the number seven. I wanna see if that's greater than five, equal to five, or less than five. Seven is greater than five, so that means I'm going to round this digit up. So I keep my three the same, that's unaffected by this. Um, I'm going to round six up to seven, and then the rest will be zeros. So 36,782 rounded to the um, thousands place is 37,000. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining us and learning with Testament and Learning Links. Have a wonderful night. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my